Hi, my name is Jenny Ruiz Williams, new head coach for UNLV Women's Soccer. I'm also a former Rebel with UNLV Women's Soccer, and I'm so excited to be back here at this university that changed my life. Today, I wanna to thank our Loyalty Circle members for all of their support and their continued support. Um, and I wanna also share that we are focused on our student athletes, their health, their well-being, how we can give them the best student athlete experience possible during this time. We're really connecting and staying together as a team. We're gonna jump into your questions. First question is from Jersey Joe Haro and the UNLV Football Foundation. Shout out to Joe um, as we went to UNLV together at the same time. Two part question from him. How has the strategy and landscape of recruiting athletes here at UNLV changed from when you were being recruited here? Um, the strategy and landscape has changed because UNLV has changed. For me, if I can get these players on campus, I've got them. This campus is amazing. It's beautiful. It's cutting edge. It's breathtaking. I love it. Um, and it's really easy to recruit here because I'm so passionate and proud of it. And I think it comes across to all of our uh, potential student athletes. Second part. Has the local women's soccer talent here in the Valley improved enough over the years to bring in top talent, or is the focus still in places like California, where there is a larger pool of players and overall more competitive? That's an awesome question. Um, I think on the West, the West Coast in general, soccer has improved dramatically, whether it's Vegas or California. What's awesome about um, our home hometown here of Vegas is now we have a development academy, we have ECNL, and we have one of the top national league teams right here in our hometown. So getting the top talent from Vegas while still getting the top talent from California will be at the forefront of our focuses. Okay, our next question comes from Frank Alexander. With the current situation and your athletes not able to be on campus and attending regular workouts and practices, what are your top three non-negotiables with your athletes that you have them doing that can potentially translate into things we can also do at home that can help us keep in shape when we can't go to the gym or our regular exercise programs? That's a great question. Our top three non-negotiables with our group right now are academics first, fitness, and then staying connected with each other. With academics, we have an amazing academic advisor, Alan, who meets with the girls regularly to help them, and we're holding them accountable every step of the way. With fitness, in the back of the mind, their mind, they have a fall fitness test that they know is coming, so it definitely keeps them accountable. As well as uh, we have Zoom fitness calls, we have live Google Docs where they input their scores and can keep each other accountable, even when we're not around. And then lastly, with staying connected, I think that is the heart and soul of, of a strong team culture and core values. So we're really making sure that the girls connect with each other, whether it's in positional groups, whether it's um, in academically with their classes or literally their class, freshman class, sophomore class, junior class, and I'm researching daily how to improve myself to make sure I can lead them uh, in the best way possible each step of the way. Our last question is from Michael Bronstein. What needs to be done to make the UNLV women's soccer team a national power? I think that UNLV women's soccer needs to reflect this amazing city. This is a city that is servant-minded. It suffers, it sacrifices, it works so hard. It's gritty, it's blue collar, and we need to show that in the classroom, on the field, and representing this city well and this university well. Thank you again, everyone, for your continued support. We could not do any of this without you. I hope everyone stays healthy, stays safe, and again, go Rebels.